Johnson for the chief today. He says don't let the way the air feels now fool you. Yeah, and you know, sometimes these are the days that catch most people off guard because as we were talking about when we first started this newscast, Stacey, you know, you wake up in the morning and it's got that feel and you're like, all right, I'm planning for it. But on a day like this, you're like, eh, we'll be fine. Maybe not so. Maybe not so, unfortunately. So we're keeping our eye on things, uh, getting word from uh, the Storm Prediction Center that a severe thunderstorm watch likely to be issued at some point this afternoon. Not in effect as of right this moment, but again, that could be changing. And of course, we'll be bringing you up to date and up to speed on that whenever that changes. I want to show you one of our camera views. We'll take you into Wayne County and Honesdale for this one. And uh, looking fairly murky there, still not much in the way of sunshine, at least not just yet. Looking around in our backyard overhead, starting to see some of those breaks of blue. So uh, the blue sky coming in means temperatures are going to start to heat up and that'll be some fuel for any potential storms to work with. So mid 70s right now, 74 in Taylor, 68 though, Thornhurst, 68 Coolbaugh Township, so still pretty cool in the Poconos. And it's Central Pennsylvania, where you've seen a little bit more sunshine, places like Renova, Lock Haven, already into the mid and even some upper 70s in your neck of the world. I uh, want to show you what high temperatures will be like today. We're thinking upper 70s, low 80s should do it for pretty much everybody today. So right now, maybe your temperature is about five or eight degrees cooler than these numbers. Uh, fear not, with some sunshine coming in, you will heat up. It's just going to take a little bit for the blue sky to emerge and the temperatures to warm. Now, your dew points, that's the measure of moisture in the air, generally in the mid 60s right now. So these numbers have been slowly but surely kind of ticking up and out ahead of this incoming cold front, those numbers are going to surge. So that's going to be some, again, extra fuel. So we've got the sunshine working. You've got some added moisture to work with, and that's what's going to give these storms a little extra zip on their fastball uh, as they come through. So right now we're not seeing too much activity, maybe a lone shower just forming up in Tioga County. So that could be the beginning of things here because when we widen out, that's kind of the leading edge of at least a little bit of clearing. So this may be the line that we end up tracking for you this afternoon and a line from, let's say, Owego, New York, out to Binghamton, back into Elmira, and then uh, into Wellsboro and points uh, kind of west from there. That's kind of maybe the beginnings of what we'll be tracking for you today. Looks like the severe weather risk a timeline for us generally between about three and eight. The biggest concern would be for some damaging wind gusts, but can't rule out some hail too. And as it stands right now, level two out of five risk for all of northeastern and central Pennsylvania. So here's what the radar might look like as we go through the afternoon. Here's a peak at three o'clock. The storm starting to blossom a bit, perhaps approaching uh, our valley cities, maybe around five or so, and then down to the Poconos between about six, seven, maybe eight o'clock. This particular model kind of has a couple of rounds of storms coming through. Don't necessarily think that's going to help be how things play out. But again, we'll be watching things for you again all afternoon. So some storms early tonight. So if you have some dinner plans, uh, just keep the storm chances in mind. Lows will be about 60 degrees. The weekend, as we mentioned earlier, ooh, it looks good. Morning clouds tomorrow giving way to a good deal of sunshine, a sterling afternoon and a sterling day coming up on Sunday. The harp resumes and you'll love to hear it as I uh, kind of show or will show in the seven day a wee hazy perhaps uh, for tomorrow. A little bit more of that wildfire smoke trying to come in. This is once again going to be the high level stuff, not going to impact air quality, but may obscure the amount of sunshine that we see. Are you headed down to the shore this weekend? If you are, I'm really jealous. Temperatures will be well into the 70s. Water temperatures in the low 70s. Not much of a uh, rip current concern. No chance for rain. Actually, both days will look a lot like this. Again, the only thing that's really changing is your low tide and high tide times. That's a look at the next seven days. So some storms coming through for our afternoon today. We're keeping an eye on, on those. We hazy tomorrow, but a sterling day on Sunday. Chance for some storms perhaps resuming on Mondays, and those will have to be watched pretty closely too. But as we mentioned, Stacy, it can storm all at once on Friday. It can storm all at once on Monday. But if the weekend is good, it's a lot of happy campers. And speaking of which, here comes some sunshine right now. So look at that. <laughs> That's good timing. Right on cue. We need the Sterling Harp for that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. See ya.